Aromaticity is a very stabilizing phenomenon. It stabilizes a ring molecule because it allows for the delocalization of electron density among all the different orbitals within that given molecule. Now, whether or not a given aromatic compound actually is able to undergo a diels alder reaction depends on the delocalization energy, on the energy by which it is stabilized due to that aromatic property. Now, in this table, I've listed four different molecules and their delocalization energy value. So, each one of these four molecules, furan, uh, pyridine, parole, and benzene, ben, benzene, benzene, all these molecules are basically stabilized by aromaticity. And the delocalization energy gives us the quantity of energy by which each one of these molecules is actually stabilized. So when an aromatic molecule actually undergoes the diels alder reaction, it usually loses that aromatic property and that is not a very stabilizing effect. So that basically means that the molecules that have the smallest delocalization energy will be more likely to undergo the diels alder reaction and lose its aromaticity than the molecules that have the higher delocalization energy. So let's begin by examining furan. So furan is aromatic and the aromaticity of furan lowers its energy by 16 kilocals per mole. So basically because it has such a small value for its delocalization energy, furan does in fact readily undergo the diels alder reaction. So basically this is one particular furan molecule. It reacts with this alkene to produce the following product in which we no longer have aromatic properties. So furans are least stabilized by the delocalization of electron density among all the orbitals within this molecule and so this molecule will readily participate in the diels alder reaction. Next, let's move on to parole. Parole has a delocalization energy of 21 kilocals per mole. So because it's slightly higher, it means it's more stabilized uh, as a result of that aromaticity than, for example, furan, and so it will be slightly less reactive in the diels alder reaction. Nevertheless, it will undergo the diels alder reaction, but it also can undergo two diels alder reaction leading to an aromatic compound. So, Parole can also undergo these older reactions in which they also lose their aromatic properties. However, they can also undergo a second deals older reaction in the process, regaining that aromatic property. To see what we mean, let's take a look at the following molecule, at the following mechanism. So, we have the following parole that reacts with this alkene in a diels alder fashion. So we have this pi bond attacking this carbon, displacing this pi bond, placing it onto here, and this pi bond forms a sigma bond between this carbon and this carbon, and we, and we form the following intermediate product. Now, notice this intermediate product lost its aromaticity. It is not an aromatic compound. However, this compound can basically interact with itself and react via an intramolecular diels alder reaction so it can rearrange itself to form the following final product as well as this triple bond molecule. 
So basically this rearranges in an intramolecular deals all their fashion. This basically breaks off and this is formed and this molecule that is formed, which is basically a form of a parole, this is uh, fully conjugated. It's planar, it's cyclical, and it obeys Huckel's rule. So this is in fact an aromatic compound. So we see that parole compounds can undergo deals all the reactions and at the end they can actually reform its aromaticity unlike furans which do not reform aromaticity. Now if we examine the benzene molecule on this table, we see that according to this table, benzene is most stabilized by the delocalization of electron density. It's most stabilized by its aromaticity because it has the highest delocalization energy. So this means that out of all these compounds, out of all these aromatic molecules, benzene is the least likely to undergo a diels alder reaction. So it will only undergo a diels alder reaction if this dianophile is very, very active and we have a very high temperature conditions. Only in this case will we have enough energy to actually overcome the relatively high activation barrier of this reaction to form the following relatively unstable molecule. So this molecule is not very stable because on the bridge head condition, on the bridge head position, we have a double bond and that creates steric hindrance. So this reaction has a very high activation energy and so will require a high temperature to actually take place. On top of that, our dienophile has to be very active. So we see that although, that although some reactions, some aromatic compounds do undergo the deals alder reaction, certain aromatic compounds such as benzene are less likely to undergo them because of the stability of that molecule due to the delocalization energy.